are the other extra features in 5D Embroidery Extra? Well, there are a lot more, Julie, and it's really a lot of fun to play with. The background wizard, I know you really enjoyed. That was great. Yeah, it really made it easy. There's another new feature over here that is called the Split Project Wizard. Oh, okay. Okay. And I know, again, making in your sewing room, but you've been doing a lot of home decorating yes, as well. Yes, big Some projects. Really big projects. Okay. Well, what I want to do, let's choose a new screen. So we're, we're not going to save changes right now. Okay. <laughs> but uh, we do have that uh, actually for you. It was that easy to do. Yes. So it was, was quick and easy. I'm going to choose, again, go back up to that view designs. And there's, again, beautiful new flower and it is this guy right here. Now, what I what we're going to make is a really big design. Okay. Okay, so it's a, you could actually make a design up to 76 inches by 76 inches, wow. which is huge. Wow, that is huge. Uh, we're not gonna go quite that big. Today. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna enter a hoop size, and that hoop, we're gonna just do 400 by 400 millimeters. Okay. That's a big hoop. It's a big hoop. Exactly. So here it is up at the top. Now remember we were in the regular 3D view so the hoop wasn't showing. There's 2D and then here's 3D with the hoop. Okay. So that makes it easy to see. I'm going to go ahead and choose Encore. Now there are a couple different things going on here. With the Encore we're just going to go in a circle this time. Okay. But I've got a little trick that I want to show you later. So before I Encore, let's go ahead and copy this guy to the clipboard. Okay. You'll notice over here you have that overview and you have the clipboard now. Okay. So you have both back of them. Forth. You can okay. go back and forth. All right. So let's encore. We're going to choose the circle. And this time I'm going to put 16 of these, which is a whole bunch, mm -hmm. and click OK. And there oh, they those are. are beautiful. Aren't they pretty? They really are. I love this new design. And I'm just going to squeeze it in just a little bit. And then still do that right click to make sure I set this. Okay. Okay. So there it is. Wow. Yeah, just beautiful. Now this would make a lovely pillow or even something for a, uh, a tablecloth on a little round, you know, small table yes. or something like that. So one of the differences between 5D Embroidery and 5D Embroidery Extra is the Edit tab. Okay. So you can actually do stitch editing directly in 5D Embroidery Extra. Okay, that's great. Yeah, it makes it really easy. Now, remember at the beginning, we went ahead and copied the single design onto the clipboard. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and paste that into my screen. So there's the single design. Okay. We actually want that one selected. So I'm just going to click on it. So that's selected. And to make it a little bit easier for me to see, I'm going to cut the Encore piece to the clipboard. See that right there? Okay. So that makes it very fast and easy. And that way I'm only working with the piece I want to work with. Okay. So let's go ahead and go into the Edit tab and zoom in just a little bit. Because once I get zoomed in, I can see this quite a bit easier. Alright, so there I've zoomed in. Now this is in 2D, correct? It is. When you're working in the stitch editor or in an editing function, it's a little bit easier to see it in 2D and work with it in 2D. Okay. And let's go ahead and I notice that the, the, all the colors except the green are going away. I'm hiding them. They're not actually being deleted. They're okay. actually being hidden. Now it looks like they're highlighting as you're moving over those colors in the list. They are, so I can see exactly what I am hiding. Okay. It makes it easy. Now the reason why I did that is I wanted all the green to go away, so simply select the green, go ahead and delete, and there's only and my they flower. they all came back? Okay. Yeah, it makes it very, very easy to do that editing like that. So let's get back to the Design tab. Now that I'm in the Design tab, Let's go ahead and zoom zoom out again. Repaste that encore piece back in. Okay. So again, fast, easy, and again that center and hoop is really wonderful yes. because I want that to go right in the center and there's my design. Okay. So now if I want to, I can make this a little bit larger okay. by using the resize. Okay. And Oh, and resize has blue handles. Yeah. It changed, didn't it? Yes. So now you can see 
that I'm actually doing the resizing right there. That's great. Yeah. So at this point, I want to select everything. So I'm going to select those two. And remember, we did this way back when, when we were talking about the 5D embroidery, that you can select multiple designs. Yes. So that makes it easy. So I can select, or I simply could have just combined them together. Okay. So either way. Now, we've made this beautiful design. We want to stitch it out. But do you have a 400 by 400 hoop? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Um, one of the neat things is this split project wizard. Okay. So when I click on the split project. And this project, is new to 5D Embroidery it Extra? Is. It is. So this is new to 5D Embroidery Extra. Um, was not in 4D, and also it's different from the 5D embroidery. So this is one of those new functions that you would get if you went ahead and went up to the 5D embroidery extra. Okay. All right. So what size? What's the largest size hoop you have, Julie? Um, I have a 360 by 350, but it's multi. But yeah, you have to turn it around. Yeah. I think in this case, because the Split Project Wizard. It's going to actually do it for specific standard hoops. Okay. Let's go ahead and choose the next smallest hoop. So, okay. Which is 360 by 200, 100? I okay. think. Okay. So that's the size right here. Let's go ahead and click Next. And it's splitting the design as we're sitting here. So it's doing it automatically for me. Doing it automatically for you. It's doing an intelligent split. It's putting in alignment stitches if I choose. Wow. It's doing everything with the color sort. And that's my first section. Wow, that's great. So that's section number one. This is section number two. Okay. And then section number three. So that's it. You that's have three great. sections to make this design. Now, there is another option, and that is the... 5D design um, aligner if you want to make your own sort of, of cutting. But in this case, it did it so fast and easy, there's no need. That's great. And that's really it. It makes it, uh, makes it fast now. It's telling me that I, I haven't saved my embroidery file, so that's probably a good thing to do. So that's just done right here. Okay. So we save the embroidery sections right like that. And we can go ahead and bouquet is perfect. Yes. And there we are. So the reason why is because now you're going to go ahead and print your overview. Okay. So it's really up to you. So this big is a designs, great new feature. Yeah, big designs, making it easy to split. Also the encore, the edit tab, all of those things are in 5D Embroidery Extra. That's wonderful. Thank you for showing me, Sonny.